look what we have. We have the keys. So none of the keys work. <laughs> it's a really exciting video, right? Okay, well, uh... So none of our work, <laughs> none of the keys are working at all. <laughs> Still, what's going on? We are in. <gasps> oh, it moved. Oh no. I can just explain a little bit what's happening over here. Oh, we want it, we want it, we want it. Now we've got it. It's like, right, now we've actually got to do it. So this is our newest arrival. This is it. This is the start of the future of Teddy Reef Horse Rescue. It's big, it's scary. It's, as you can see, a serious amount of work. Welcome back, Finger family, to our first ever video on our new land. Look behind me. This is actually not Finger life. This is a highlight of the week, and it's really, really a huge highlight, not just of the week, it's a highlight of Tannery Force Rescue. And look what we have. We have the keys, and we are going to film us opening it. We haven't, well, we have been inside a long time ago, but we haven't seen inside recently. No idea what all these keys are for, because there's only two doors, and one of them's welded shut. So we'll see. But mum and Edu are coming, I think, to come and do the big reveal of what's inside these rooms. And then I'm gonna show you around a little bit about what we plan to do, what, where, and give you the idea of what we're building and what's happening and where the animals are gonna go and what's really happening. So yeah, let's get inside. Wait, where's mum gone? She was coming as well, right? No. Oh, she's not coming. So just us. Uh, let's give it a go. Do we have any idea? Think el camellito is what it says. Yeah, it got welded shut. All right. Good luck. This. It's not correct. They all look exactly the same as well. Check it. Not correct. <laughs> no. Three hours later. Surely the last. So none of the keys work, I don't think. Okay, none of the keys work. <laughs> so we can't get into this room. Great start. Oh, maybe I only brought one set up because I thought they were all doubles. Shall I get the other set? Ah, yeah, sure. So let's try that room then, maybe. I was thinking that they were both doubles, but that was probably too organized. In that case, we've got about, I don't know, 30 keys. So in fact, we've just got 10 of the same. It's a really exciting video, right? So watch us trying to... Well, we know what's in this room. This is a bathroom. Although at the moment we have no idea where it is connected to. So it's a bathroom, but we're not connected to the mains. So we don't know where the outside goes. And we need to figure that. So... <laughs> okay, great. It's going very well. Meanwhile, maybe we can just climb through the window. Okay, well, uh... So none of our work, <laughs> none of the keys are working at all. These keys? <laughs> Great. Oh, maybe it's for the lock of the chain. Oh, maybe. Oh, there's another lock in here. Okay, so but let's go find the second set of keys. Bye. Okay, back. bye. Okay, I'll go set the next keys. Next set, let's see if any of these work. And we've lost Edu already. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> like the official <laughs> purchase of the building. So not in that building then? <laughs> it's going very well. Are they all the same? <laughs> right, so I'm going to throw away most of the keys and uh, mark them all as to which ones actually work. So this is gonna be a three hour video of us trying to get in to our new building. <laughs> I 
Last three. This is ridiculous. So they wanted to come in yesterday, which was the weekend, right? Because they wanted to put in all this stuff. And I said, no, no, we'll wait till tomorrow because it's going to be a really good video. It'll be very exciting. Am I right? <laughs> it's a very, very exciting video that none of the keys work for any of the buildings. Well, because it's yours now, you can also... Yeah. Exactly. Well, one of them's a padlock, so that's an easy fix. I mean, <gasps> one turned. It didn't do anything else. Yeah, can you try? <laughs> Still, <laughs> what's going on? No. Yeah, can't be. That doesn't make sense at all, does it? It's like, like if it was locked from the like, inside. I mean, <laughs> I've done it, I think. Oh no, what? I'm in. Oh, what, sort of. Right, there's a, there's a technique. <laughs> if I go push it that way. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I need to take. Oh. Yay! <laughs> we are in. Ah, lovely. <laughs> Ta da! All of that, and this is our bathroom. Delightful. <laughs> and also, it looks like it's wired up to electric, which is misleading because there's no electric here so I don't know where they're wired up to so we have no idea where it's connected to we have no idea where the water is connected to because there's no water coming in nor going out so that's all very misleading step one we're into the first building we have a unfunctioning toilet with no water no electric there's a hole in the wall there where that goes Okay, so this is going to be, are these the same? Maybe they're the same. We've got three to the unfunctioning toilet. <gasps> oh, it moved. Oh no. <laughs> so we thought this would be a really quick video. <laughs> we just like quickly open this and then I'll show you around. Actually, you can just watch us trying to open it for three hours. Well, okay, let's try the last, because yeah, this is just a padlock. This one's an easy fix, because it's a padlock, so we can just cut it off. <laughs> so. <laughs> There is a dusty room with, a, with no roof and a tap station because this, this we can't decide whether it should be our office but it might, might be too noisy to be our office because the main workshop is going to be underneath so we don't know whether to use this one as an office or, or some type of storage room or maybe like a shop, another gallery shop. Oh my god, it's windy. And then this one in here, which you can't see at all, is going to be hopefully, well, maybe this one as well eventually, but at the moment it's going to be like our um, uh, medical room, like vet, um, like, cause it's a, I have been in it, so I know, it's a tiled room with water access and it's going to be where we can store away medicine and keep things very safe, very safe, cause we can't even get in. So it's going to be a very safe lock up for medicine. So that's the first stuff. Hopefully one day we'll get in. And this is the first, the very first thing we're starting to work on in this corner over here is gonna be the community room. And you, again, you're gonna to have to have quite a lot of uh, imagination because at the moment it's just a pile of stuff. But if, oh, I nearly fell off. I'm really looking at it differently.
separately today. I, although I've been here like every day for the past four years, now I see everything really, really totally different and really um, how much work is really involved rather than just, oh, we want it, we want it, we want it. And now we've got it. It's like, right, now we've actually got to do it. So we're going to put some sheds here just for, we're going to have like a paint shed, a plumbing shed, this type of thing along there. This we're just going to fix straight away to make as another food storage room behind this van. This van is going to be interesting, a, a way of try beat the system slightly. This is going to be a kitchen. Um, like a sink is going on, so the plumbing goes underneath and the water that comes out is going to go into watering a garden. You've got to have a lot of vision for that. And yeah, here's Rob is starting. So this is going to be the storage room and then we're going to make the big community room over the top here. And this is going to be sort of volunteers main kitchen area, but we just have to remove all of this rubbish first. <laughs> this caravan is actually for Eddie's dad and it's going right at the other side. And then we're going to make the big horse paddock in the middle. I mean, I could talk forever about all the plans we're doing, but I think that might get a bit boring for you because it's hard to picture. But what, I'll just tell you exactly what we're doing at the moment, which is get the communi community area so there's somewhere for the volunteers to be because we're going to need a lot more volunteers. And uh, over there, he's working on making one little sort of accommodation area. And then the horses are going straight into this paddock because we are going to build a really big one for, for the horses, but we haven't got the money to do that straight away. We can't afford to get the, um, uh, the material to do the fencing. So at the moment, we're just using what we have, which is this area, which is almost done. And then at least we can start getting some of the horses in straight away. We've had this only like two days and we've already got a new rescue. So the, which actually we're gonna introduce you as well in this video. The very first rescue of Tricessa, Gandalf the donkey. And yeah, so this is it. This is the start of the future of Tenerife Horse Rescue. It's big. It's scary. It's, as you can see, a serious amount of work. Even getting into the broken rooms is impossible. Which, <laughs> great start. Um, yeah, if any of you got any advice on, you know, how are we going to do this amazing step? But the good news is, we're filming from the very beginning. You can see as we're as what it's like, and we're going to film the whole process. You are going to watch everything, the you know the tears, the blood, the crying, because <laughs> I cut myself even trying to get in, and my. Um, Oh, I should probably even explain what happened yesterday. We're, we've just made a new collaboration, actually, with a, um, we're trying out something new. We're always trying different ideas of how we can, you know, raise money and grow and stuff. And we've joined up with Milk and Honey, which is a local, um, local business where they're doing retreats, uh, wellness retreats. And they did one here yesterday, which is, explains why I've got glitter and henna on. And, and um, they're using our yurt area and trying to raise money for the animals and wellness and things. So that's a really nice thing as well. So it's all, it's all happening, it's all very new, it's all very exciting and you're going to be with us for the entire journey and hopefully it'll be a bit more successful than today's key opening video. So enjoy with, uh, with Gandalf. Oh, the donkey is going into there here. Chewy, Chewy, Chewy. Out of the way. Gracias. So this is our newest arrival, all the way from La Gomera. And we haven't seen him yet. We don't really know anything about him yet. He actually came from someone really nice and she was trying to get him out of a bad place. So thanks to her, she rescued him and she's paid and shipped him over here to us to give him a new chance. Because I'm told that he has a lot of skin problems and he had a lot of problems where he was, but we don't know the full story yet. And at the moment, he doesn't want to come out of the trailer. <laughs> Oh, bless him. Oh. oh, you're very stressed. Yeah. I imagine you are. You've just come a long way. Oh, God, look at his skin. Wow. Okay. He's not skinny, but look at that skin. Oh, oh God, look at his legs as well. Carefully he doesn't get scared as he suddenly moves the car. Like, Stubborn donkey. <laughs> oh. <coughs> I love the donkey. 
donkey noise. Oh, that. <laughs> yeah, first off island rescue. Technically, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look at Ava, look at him. Yeah, he really does. It's true also because now you can call it Yanda, but then in six months it's going to be like, where is Yanda?